What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, March the 5th. I have two very talented young people with us today from Hickman High School. I have Tremonte Miller, right? Yes. And I remember you from being on here before. And Morgan Miller, I remember you also. You were here last time. And the show you were doing is Hello, My Baby, right? Yes. What is Hello, My Baby about? Well, Hello, My Baby was written in 2011, but it takes place in the early 19-teens. So, like, 1913, 1914, around that time. Yeah. And all of the songs in the musical are from that time period. And I remember, well, I remember Hello, My Baby very well. And I'm sure I would know every one of those. I wasn't around in 1913 or 1910. Right. But I remember those songs from the old Sing Along with Mitch program. You don't remember those. You're way too young for that. But how does Hello My Baby go? Um, okay, so it starts off with this song plugger. You know, back in the day, they plug songs for money. Right. So um, he's trying to plug the song, trying to plug the song. He sums upon Betty. Um, Betty Gold. <laughs> Betty <laughs> and, Gold? Yes. Okay. And he tries to sell the song, but she is not having it. She doesn't want the song. She's trying to get to work. And... He makes her late for work, so she is um, fired from her job, Aww. and the story goes on from there. Okay, and it's and it's all it. There's a lot of singing in it, right? Yeah, yes. there is. Yeah. Are, are you happy, Betty? Well, um, for a lot of it is, I'm trying to find my dream, and like we're losing our um, home oh because my. they're um, we're living in a tenement, and we own a. Uh, music hall, but me and my sisters, we don't have our parents anymore. Oh. Um, so we're trying to come up with money to pay the local gangster for protre- for protection from him. Oh my! And trying to pay the rent. Um, and you're doing all of this while singing your heart out. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're singing your heart out when tragedy is all around you. Right. 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 Yes. <laughs> are people gonna Are people gonna come away from the show feeling good? <laughs> Yes, in it's, the end, in the end, everything it has the everything this, works out. Right. Yeah, this okay. happy ending. All right, so the show is called "Hello, My Baby." When is it running? It is running March seventh through 9th. That is a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday, of March, Friday, and Saturday. How do people get tickets? Um, you can get tickets through the Fine Arts Building on the Dairy Queen side of Hickman High School. You can also get tickets at the door at six thirty on those performance dates. Okay. Um, and everybody is invited to a come, right? Yes. yes. You can have a sellout crowd. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I hope you not do. many people know the show. But... Well, but you know what? If you like good music, and this is really good, good music from the early 1900s, go and enjoy yourself. Hello, my baby. Do a little bit of hello, my baby, for me. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Hey, hey, hey. That's Send all. We're not going to give you any more. You've got to go to the show to see it. Okay. Thank you so much Thank for coming so by. Much. Thank you. Break a leg with it. It sounds like it's a wonderful production at Hickman High School. Okay, so we go from singing Hello, My Baby, and we're going to talk about uh, something very important to to me and all of us. If You listen to KBIA a lot. It's the uh, Spring Fun Drive, and I'm going to introduce you to the general manager of KBIA, Mike Dunn. Good to have you here, Mike. Good morning, Paul. Glad to Uh, be here. Well, it's our pleasure. This is... uh, Really, an important time of the year for KBIA. Actually, you have fun drives two times a year, yes. and that is the backbone of what keeps this station going, isn't it? It's our yeah, listeners. It, it pays more than half of the funds that we need. Yeah, and a lot of times people, you think, well, you just you're listening to public radio, or you're listening to the radio. I, I don't have to do anything to keep it going. No, it's but, free. Yeah, it, it's free. It is free coming over the airways, but it takes money to put those programs on the air, and you're hearing things, as we've always said, on public radio that you're not going to hear anywhere else. So the fun drives are so very important. I wanted to just, let's run through the programs that you have 
during the day? You start with... Well, Morning Edition is the backbone of the station. Yeah. It, it gets the day started, as, as you can tell from the name, Morning Edition. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, and when you're listening to Morning Edition, you're going to hear everything that's going on, not, not just in our country, but around the world. Yes. And that's so important for us to stay informed. And it's unbiased. That's important. Then after Morning Edition, you've got one of my, uh, one of my favorite programs, On Point, mm-hmm. and that's two hours. Yes with Megan Chuklavardi, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the first hour is a little heavier, and yes. then it gets lighter, lighter in the second hour. Uh-huh. Then you made a change at 11 o'clock. We added a program called 1A, which stands for First Amendment. Okay. And 1A is a, a, a public radio yes. program also. Then at noon? Here and now. Here and now, and then in the afternoon? We have the BBC at 2 o'clock, and then All Things Considered at 3. Now, with the BBC... That program is dealing more with international affairs, correct? Mostly, yes. I mean, there's still a lot of uh, particularly U.S. politics. In well, that of course, program. because <laughs> the U.S. politics are playing a big part in international affairs. Yes. But all of this is on KBIA. You're not going to hear it anywhere else. If you want to stay informed, that's the place to be is KBIA. And we talk about the uh, the fund drive. How much? What is the goal? It's 170000 how much? 170. 170,000. Now, the fall fund drive is a little bit... bit fall, fall is the bigger one. Yeah. So $170,000 is what you are uh, reaching for the goal to yes. come up with. How many days do we have to do that? Six. So you start tomorrow, mm-hmm. which is Wednesday, right. March the 6th, and you go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the following Monday and Tuesday. You don't do it on the weekend, do you? We do Saturday mornings. Okay. So if people want to help out, the best thing to do, you can get a jump on it right now, is to make a pledge. Or what is it you, you always say? You can become a sustaining member? Yes. So many of the people now become sustainers. It's a huge percentage. Uh, it's easier on you, and it means that we don't have to send out all these letters and use a lot of paper and yeah. time. And So if you become a sustaining member, does that go into the into the pot for this $170,000. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you say, I want to be, if you, if you call and say, I want to be a sustaining member and give uh, $20 a month or $30 mm-hmm. a month, you figure that up and it'll go into the fundraising exactly. pot. Exactly. Okay. Most of the most of the money comes in is in s- smaller amounts, right? Average is about $10 a month. $10. And that's, yeah. that's not a lot. Yeah. That's not a lot of money you're asking for. If if you enjoy KBIA, you enjoy the information that comes across, $10 a month is very little to ask in helping to keep that going in our community. The number to call? 882-9136. I should know that, shouldn't I? Yeah. 91 <laughs> FM. 91 FM. <laughs> Give them a call. Operators will be standing by at this instant if you call and tell them you heard about it on Radio Friends, okay? But it starts tomorrow in earnest. Mike Gunn, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, appreciate it. Always a pleasure visiting with you. Bye-bye.